The government of St. Lucia has received EC $3.1 million in grant funding from the Republic of China on Taiwan to support six bilateral projects. I'm pleased to be here today on behalf of the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, as we are shaping a future that shines brightly for the people of St. Lucia through delivering funding which supporting six projects aiming at improving the well-being of, of the citizens. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ministry of External Affairs and Ministry of Economic Development for the facilitation and cooperation. EC $348,200 has been allocated to undertake technical and civil works on the George Charles Secondary School plant which will house a new juvenile rehabilitation center. Some of the funding will also be used to support inmate rehabilitation programs at the Border Lake Correctional Facility to reduce recidivism and equip inmates with commercial skills for successful reintegration into society. $585,000 has been committed to rehabilitating and expanding the pig and poultry pens and abattoir at the Border Lake Correctional Facility. About $97,599 will be invested in the Judicial Enforcement Management Systems, or GEMS, to improve administrative efficiency and case management in the Second District Court. $387,000 will go towards enhancing capacity in the land registry by way of a land registry vault expansion rehabilitation project. Part of the Taiwanese grant will also be used to mechanize St. Lucia's agricultural sector. About $450,000 has been allocated for the procurement of tillage equipment and to fund capacity building programs. Another $1.3 million will be spent to integrate renewable energy at four local agro-processing facilities to improve energy efficiency and reduce energy costs. We're going to be receiving grants of $3.172799 million for a range of projects. And again, it speaks to the ethos and the philosophy of the government because these monies are going to be used for social, the development of our social infrastructure and the development of our economic infrastructure and the development of our service providing. Office of the Prime Minister